Hey everybody, Mark Spector the Comics and I'm back. This time I got three packages in the mail. If you're interested in seeing what I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. All right, so like I said, got three packages in the mail. Um, one of them does not have a person's name on it, so <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Um, it could be one of my most recent contest wins. I'm thinking that's what it is. Um, the other two, one is from Rob's Fat Stacks. This was one of my books I purchased for the... Uh, CCC, the uh, Comics Curing Cancer um, uh, auction that they did a few weeks back. So I'm going to open this one up first because this was my oldest purchase. Uh, the second one came from um, a claim sale on Hiram's uh, auction. And then I'll open up the uh, last one afterwards. So uh, like I said, that's so how I know it's from uh, Rob's Fat Sacks because it has a sticker on there. And... Uh, I know what this is because um, this was the only book I ended up buying that weekend for the uh, comics uh, curing cancer auction. I was uh, pretty busy that weekend. That was actually my uh, uh, my son's birthday weekend, so I was like in and out that whole weekend. Um, but I did get a chance to go in one of the um, later auctions. I think it was Sunday, and uh, pick something up. I want to thank Rob and. Um, everyone else that uh, participated during the uh, auction and they raised over twenty thousand dollars i think it came out to be like over twenty two thousand dollars at the end of it which was just fantastic so i want to thank rob for uh spearheading the operation there for the uh for the auction uh so that was that was just fantastic next year i definitely want to participate in it so uh like i said ended up just getting that getting one book Trying to open this up. It's well packaged. There we go. And there was a lot of a lot of cool stuff donated for the uh, auction. It says it's Tango time. So uh, I saw this book and I was like, "Oh, this is really cool." Um, I, I had to pick this up. You know, it's not, uh, especially for the price, I was like, wow, I'm surprised nobody else was uh, was bidding on it. I was the only one that bid on it. But um, this is a really, this was a, I believe, uh, yeah, this was from Action Comics. I saw the cover and I was like, oh, wow, I got to pick this up. And, um, and it was, it was, uh, it was remarked on there. Put this on the back and uh oh wow this looks uh this looks even better in person um when you see it on the obviously when you see it on the camera you, you can't really see it like in full-on detail sometimes but when you get it in person this is really nice so this is um action comics 1046 and uh this was that uh swimsuit cover Look at that. And um, it's uh, signed. Signed and sketched. A sketch, right? It's a remark. Not a sketch. Um, by Art Germ. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. That's uh, just going to have to be something I, I probably just send out for, uh, for grading. Um, <laughs> but it's like one of those things. Uh, do I send it out for grading? You know, I got to send it over to CBCS. And it's going to take about a year to get back. Or do I just keep it as is? I think this looks great just as is. But um, this is just beautiful. I, you know. And uh, I, I don't know what Art Germ typically charges for, uh, for remarks. But man, this is just beautiful. So uh, that was the uh, one purchase I got for um, the Comics Curing Cancer auction. Like I said, really nice. Uh, 
swimsuit edition uh, cover of of um, Supergirl. Yeah, that's cool. Really cool. So I'm gonna put that aside. Uh, let's see. Now you got two more packages. So this one I'm also really excited to show. Um, whenever I see uh, Hiram's auctions on IG, you know he always puts out some fire. Um, I saw this book. Well, I was on there for a little bit. I didn't get a chance to see the whole thing, but um, they often put some really good um, silver and golden age books for some pretty, you know, reasonable prices. Considering you know, some of these books are are quite scarce and quite rare. Um, so uh, I did see one book that caught my eye, and I've bought from him in the past. He's a uh, He's a great dealer, uh, always packages well, and uh, always, always brings out the fire. So uh, I'm going to show this off. All right, put that aside. There we go. It looks like it's in a Mylar as well. So I believe it's when I bought it, he said it was a 3.0 or 4.0, I can't remember. But um, I try to pick up these these books from this um, from this publisher when I can because, you know, it's not an easy, like the public, it's getting harder and harder to get books from this publisher in decent grade. This is from Avon. Um, so let me show you the book first and then you'll, you'll, you'll have an idea. So this is... Witchcraft, issue number six. Look at that. Pick this up because, you know, this series is getting pretty tough to find nowadays. And when you do find it, it does command um, a price. You know, so this is, he has a, in the back 3.0. Um, it says pop top. I don't know what that means. But uh, let me open this up real quick. But I picked this up for a pretty good price. I um, can't remember what it was. It's a few hundred dollars. Just fold this over. The last thing I want is a uh, tape pull. Okay. So, let me take a look at this. Let's see. Oh, okay, I, I do see what he says about top. Yep, pop top. Okay. So I'm not going to really mess around with that. So this is, um, let's see, Witchcraft, issue number six, from March of 1953. Um, don't know who did the cover on this, but uh, it's just a fantastic cover. It is issue number six, which, uh, you know me, I do like collecting last issues and runs. Um, I, I think this is a really cool cover. If you see the initial, you know, uh, head there in the back. It's a transformation cover as well, so you can see he transforms into the into the skull right at the end. Um, his skull is obviously scaring this guy because he's running away, and uh, you see there's a little tombstone that says "Monster Sarno Gulch: African Horror Mystery of the Moaning Statue." So that could be probably the stories that are inside. But um, this is just fantastic. Like I so said, whenever I see these, I try to pick them up, especially if it's at a decent price. So let me put that back in here so I don't damage it. And uh, you know how it is. Pre-code horror is, uh, is highly, highly desirable right now. It's only going to continue to be more and more desirable. And whenever you see a cover like that that has really nice eye appeal, uh, try to pick them up when you can. All right, so the last one. I believe this was from a contest win. From, let's see, I guess I'll find out when I open it. But I'm almost positive on what it's from. All right, there's a note. There we go. Yep, it is. All right, so it's from uh, Johnny Five Alive. There you go. 
like wrote a little note on there congratulations thank you for being a youtube supporter of mine greatly appreciate it have a successful year all right so i won one of his um weekly contests he does weekly contests so uh, check out his channel so you can uh, stay up to date and see what the uh contest of the week is um i gotta get better too at doing a uh, weekly contest so uh, i just gotta make some content when i can so uh, let's see what's inside all right oh this is cool this is a book i don't have this is um checkmate issue number one this must be a new series i, I don't think i've heard of this one but um you got the uh, green arrow on here cool this is a uh, cover b oh and this is actually with uh, brian michael bendis alex malieve and stewart okay so there's got to be some good artwork in there oh i know what this is all right so this is um, Captain America Special Edition, issue number two. This must be like um, a later reprint because this uh, says $2 on there. This is, um, I believe this is a Steranko cover. I, I wanna, I'm almost 100% uh, certain it's a Steranko cover. That's really cool. I like that. Um, and then the last book, we got, uh, oh, this is cool. All right. So this is Miss Marvel. Issue number 11, and um, this is, I don't know when this came out. Oh, it says Back in Black 2, 2007. Okay, so 2007 series, and uh, if you look at this, this is uh, actually a newsstand. Uh, newsstand copies, because it says Marvel Superstars, or it says Marvel Superstars, it usually would have said uh, Direct Edition. So that's pretty cool, he threw in a nice little newsstand in there. So that's nice. Um, so thanks, Johnny. That was... Uh, that was really nice for the giveaway. And uh, that's it. That's all I got for this time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Mark Spectre Comics. Out.